All right, this is lesson 33, eliminating answer choices. The answer choices of a multiple choice test questions are designed so most students arrive at one of the answer choices provided. Usually one or more of the answers are distractors and answer choice A is typically the first distractor. The wrong answer choices consist of answers that you could calculate if you made a mistake or did not completely solve the problem. Considering the following example, example one, what is the area of a rectangle whose width is eight units and length is two units? Negative 16, four, 16, or 20? First, the correct answer is A equals L times W, which is eight times two or 16, or choice C. If we didn't know the formula, we could use the reference sheet if available. However, we are concerned with eliminating the other choices. The table below explains how the other solutions were calculated and why they are incorrect. For A, the area of a figure cannot be negative, therefore choice A is not valid. B, the area cannot be smaller than one of the sides in both sides are greater than one. And D, this could be a valid answer, however in the case the perimeter of the rectangle was calculated. We can see that two of the four answers can be eliminated leaving two possible choices. Even if you did not know the answer, you have increased your chance of answering the question correctly from 25% to 50%. Notice that the answer choices were not randomly chosen, but instead based on a computation or conceptual error made by the test taker. As you can see from example one, the answer choices that are provided are based upon common mistakes that students make. Therefore, just because you arrived at an answer that appears under a question, that does not mean that your answer is actually correct. The box on the following page describes some common mistakes that test makers use to create incorrect answers on an exam. So some common mistakes, they don't follow the order of operations, you use the wrong formula, switch positive and negative signs, have the wrong units, you have unreasonably high or low answers, use the wrong operation, switched numerator and denominator, and completed only one part of the question. The incorrect answers can be difficult to detect because they are answers that the test writers expect for you to arrive at when you make a common mistake. Of course, when the answer choices do not contain the answer you calculated, you know that you made a mistake. Therefore, when your answer does not match any of the possible answers, simply check your work for possible er errors. If you cannot answer the question or if none of the possible answers match your answer, then try to eliminate answers that you know are not possible. As long as you do not eliminate the correct answer, you have a chance of guessing correctly. While this may sound difficult to accomplish with some practice, accurately eliminating answer choices can modestly increase your test scores. The remaining examples describe some simple things that you can do to identify wrong answers or quickly identify correct answers. As your knowledge of mathematics increases, you identify additional tools to assist you. Sometimes tests require you to make calculations without a calculator. For example, two, which is the closest approximation of the square root of 6.25? 2.25, 3.125, 12.5, and 39.0625. The table below outlines how each answer was derived. Since the values were listed from smallest to largest, the correct answer was the first answer in the set. Knowing that the square root of a positive number is less than the original number, automatically eliminate choices C and D. Identifying that 3.125 is half of 6.25 also eliminates B. Therefore, choice A has to be correct. So for example, the value 2.25 is actually the square root of 6.25. B, the value 3.125 is 6.25 divided by two, which is incorrect. 12.5 is 6.25 times two. And 39.0625 is 6.25 squared. Example three, a linear equation is shown below. Y equals two thirds X plus two. Which of the following graphs best represents the situation? A, B, C, or D? According to the equation Y equals two thirds X plus two, the equation crosses the Y axis at two and the slope of the line is two thirds. That means I can eliminate A automatically because it crosses at negative two as opposed to positive two. The other three cross at positive two. B, however, has a negative slope, so I can eliminate that one. For C, I went up two, but not over three. So C is also eliminated, which means D is my correct answer. 
Example four, solve for x. x over 2.5 equals 15. If 2.5, 6, 15, and 37.5. Since the value that we are looking for divided by 2.5 is 15, the value must be greater than 15. Therefore, the only answer choice that is greater than 15 is 37.5. In this example, the test developer included answer choices that include dividing by 2.5 instead of multiplying by 2.5 and clearing the fraction from 2.5 or 15. To solve the equation, multiply both sides of the equation by 2.5, so therefore x equals 37.5. Another thing that you can do because they gave you answer choices is you can substitute each of these values in for x and solve to see if you get 15. 37.5 is still going to be your correct answer. The following helpful hints will assist you in evaluating answer choices. Review each answer choice and determine if the answer is possible, if the answer is reasonable, how the answer was obtained from the information given in the question, if the answer is complete, if all the conditions of the problem are met, if the calculations make sense, and if the calculations are correct.